Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your very own custom .NET CLI tool. Now this is one of the features of .NET that I'm personally using quite a bit. I'm using it to control lights in the office, I'm using it to check the weather, I'm using it for so many things from so many tools I made myself. And really this is what this is all about. It's about you using the tooling provided by .NET for your own benefit. Now in this video I'm only going to focus on showing you how to make the tool itself and then the use cases are for you to solve. In a future video we're going to see how we can supercharge that .NET CLI tool technology and make very nice custom CLI tools in .NET. If you like that of content and you want to see more make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to get alerted when I upload a new video. So what is a .NET CLI tool? Well in this PC I have .NET installed and now because I've installed the Microsoft Thai CLI tool, I can do this. I can say just tie and I get all the tie functionality from anywhere on my PC in my terminal. And it's not limited to tie, it can be anything. All you do is the name of the tool and I can do tie run, I can do whatever I want. Now I'm going to show you how you can make your own this basically. And I'm going to go with a very simple example. I'm going to make a CLI tool where you say weather and then you either provide the city or you do weather and the city name and you get the weather back, the current weather. Let's see how we can do that. Well, first I'm going to go here and create a new project and that is going to be a console application. So let's select console application and I'm going to say weather.cli as the project. And really that's it. It's just another regular console app. It doesn't have to be a console app. It can be anything you want. In my case, it will be a console app that just prints the current weather. Now, for brevity's sake, I'm going to import some code here because there is no point to me showing you how to build a weather API call in .NET. This should be focused on the CLI functionality itself. So I'm going to import some weather models and then the code that calls the Open Weather API, which we can call 60 times an hour, I think free which is more than enough for me for this CLI tool. So here are the contracts this is just copied from effectively the open weather API spec and here is the program I have an API key which by the time you're watching this is long gone so don't even try and then I'm initializing an HTTP client like any other console app uh, I'm checking to get the first um, city if it is provided as an argument so if someone did weather and then the city name and then I have a label here and then I'm checking if it's not, if it's not, I'm providing a city name and then I'm making an API call. If the city can't be found due to 404, then the city doesn't exist. You did a mistake. And if it does, I'm providing some weather information. And I'm sure if I do enter here, Copilot will suggest more things like sunrise, sunset. I don't know. It doesn't matter, but you can add as many things as you want and this will just print the weather for a city exactly what we need and i can run this like any console application right i can do this and i can say something like london and i'm getting the weather in london uh, gb overcast clouds what a surprise uh, humidity high what a surprise and it's not really windy with 90 percent clouds <laughs> what a surprise anyway my point is we can use that now as a console app and if I go to the terminal and I do uh, SCD weather CLI I can say .NET run and it works as a console app right London makes the call I'm getting the response back uh, and I can do .NET run and provide arguments so .NET run London and it does it without me providing the city a very straightforward example and it can be a handy tool to have if you're already in the console and you don't want to go to a website to check. Now, how do we turn this into a CLI tool that we can package and even upload to NuGet and have more people use if we want to? In fact, there's many packages like that. Well, it's surprisingly easy. First, you go to the CS Prods and we're going to add three lines. First, we want to say pack as tool is true. Then we want to specify the tool command name, which is how the tool will be invoked. In my case, I'm just going to do weather. So every time I type weather in the CLI, this functionality will appear. And then in this case, I'm going to specify the package output path, which is where the moment I pack this as a NuGet package effectively is going to be located. So let's just do for a slash new pack. And that's it. Now I can go back to the CLI and all I want to do is not docker.net 
pack. And now it's packaging it up, made a DLL, made a bunch of things, and it is now in that folder. Now, how do I install it globally on my PC? Surprisingly easy. What you want to do is say .NET tool install, and now we're going to specify that this is a global tool. And if you were to do this from NuGet, you don't need this part, but because we're using a local source effectively, a local feed, we're going to specify add source, and that for us is new pack, that folder. And then I'm going to give it the namespace of the root level of the project. So weather.cli, because this is weather.cli. So if I go back to the terminal and I say install, it now installs it globally. And I can now say weather. And as you can see, I'm getting city name. I'm going to say London works. It's not doing it from that location, from that source code. Because if I open a new tab and I increase that, now I'm in effectively root location. If I do weather London, works from everywhere on my PC. And that code is just packaged there. I can now delete this project if I want even, because it's now installed globally on my PC and keep saying weather Rome. Why is Rome in the United States? What? Can I say like Rome, Italy? Yeah, I can. What, the US has a Rome? Anyway, my point is, it's very, very simple. Now, just so you can see how this works, if this was pushed in NuGet, I'm going to pull NuGet from here. Uh, and any package you create, you know, at the end of the day, this thing is a NuGet package. So you can push it in NuGet if you want. And I'll give you an example. I'm going to use Thai as an example, Project Thai. Here we go. This tool now, it knows that this doesn't say like global tool. It even mentions it here. And then you can copy that. And as you can see in the terminal, if I do tie, I uninstall it. It's not here. But if I now paste that and I install it, you can see how fast it installed. And if I clear and do tie, now I have access to it. So that code you just saw in the weather CLI thing, I can just upload it. And then once it gets verified, I can install it in the same way as a package and then use from anywhere. And then in that way, that's how you install those packages. Now, I only showed you the global version because that's most likely the version you will use. You're going to install those tools globally, but you can also install tools locally. And NuGet has instructions for that. It also has Cake support. So if you want to use the CLI tool in Cake as part of your um, CI pipeline, you can totally do that. And it also has support for Nuke, which actually I wasn't aware of. Now, that's all I want to show you just to get you started. But again, think of this as a tool to solve problems. For example, if I want to start preparing for a video, all I do is lights, video, off. And the moment I press enter, <laughs> lights are off. And I can turn them back on if I want. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my Patreons for making this video possible. If you want to support me as well, you're going to find a link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more content like this and ring the bell as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.